Guys, I don't know if you guys can see this shit. I don't know what the hell is going on. But that's about, I'd say, the fourth car that drove by and two of them on mark. It sounds like another one's coming. Okay, that's a... There's a, uh, what's it called? Rescue engine. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on. I just got a text saying that there was some shit heading this way. Which was an unmarked Taurus. I looked, uh, looked like an unmarked F-150 that just went by. And that, here comes another one. Okay, that's a fire engine. There's another one coming. I, I can hear it. I don't know how far off it is. No, it's right here. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell is going on. I think there's another one coming because this truck slowed down like drastically, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on. But um, I looked on the website um, and it doesn't say anything in this area is going on. Now, for those of you guys that watch 5PD, or 5PD, there it is, Live PD, or that used to when Live PD was around, uh, before they got, they canceled it on Andy, Andy, because, you know, that channel is just trash and they can go fuck themselves. Um, you guys know Felicia County Sheriffs, uh, were introduced on there. That's actually my local de police department. So yeah, just a uh, fun fact. There's another cop car just went by. So, like also my dogs are freaking out cause like they just keep seeing me going back and forth trying to watch these cars go by cause you guys know me, I'm, I'm or anybody that knows me knows that I'm pretty big into law enforcement. So I like to watch um, them whiz by. I like the sound of their cars hauling ass just going by. So. But again, their website had, like, nothing. So I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, I literally, I'll, I'll even go check their website again right now, and I'll show you guys, because it shows you all of the active calls. No matter what, they, they show you active calls. It doesn't matter if it's a dead person or... A serious motor vehicle accident doesn't matter they always have the website with each and every call that they have active at this time or at every minute the website gets updated so i'll go ahead and show you guys that real quick so as you guys can see this is what it says it was updated at 543 which is what it is now is 543 there is a motor vehicle accident in this area where we're, where i'm at so but again, having, having Pearson, I don't know what the hell that is, but having unmarks respond for a major motor, motor vehicle accident doesn't make any sense. Well, it's been like two or three minutes since one's gone by. Um, it might, it, I mean, it, the only thing I can think of is that motor vehicle accident and that, because apparently there was a major accident, but again, why the hell they would have, and, and their, that unit you just saw that went by is out of their jurisdiction. 
Ooh, damn, look at that Jaguar going by. But, uh, yeah, that unit is out of its jurisdiction, and I've seen, like, three of those go by. So... I don't see why they'd be taking them out of their jurisdiction for an accident like that. Here's another one. There's a yep. There goes the Volusia County Sheriff's guys. You guys should be familiar with them. Look at that car. That's a classic. You guys, if you guys have watched Live PD, are definitely familiar with the VCSO. I know I am. Especially because I've talked to the sheriffs and stuff. They got some pretty cool ass people in there. I heard. An, I just heard another siren kick off. But I don't know. Because now it just turned off again. Now it would be really dope if we just saw the FHP fly right by, bro. Because you already know I like the FHP. That'd be fucking dope. But I... Well, actually, there is a good chance, considering it is an accident, and this is a main road right here. Uh, highway, anyways. And, obviously, they're highway patrol, so... On this road, the FHP, usually, uh, well, they always do handle vehicle accidents and stuff like that because they'll take over and do the report on that. That's, that's, that's mainly the only time I've ever seen them on this road is whenever there's been an accident and they come through and uh, do the reports and stuff instead of like the sheriffs or PD and stuff. Also, if I'm shaking, it's because I'm moving around. Keep looking behind me because my dogs are jumping around and stuff. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the hell is going on. Do you, I really don't see this being all for a damn. You got people going by here. I don't really see people, or I don't really see all these cops responding for. A fucking traffic accident. Unless, like, a goddamn plane went down in the fucking road. Like, a fucking passenger jet. I just don't see why a fucking... All those cops and, and they're pulling units out of their jurisdiction for a vehicle accident. I mean, we have a lot of sheriffs in this area. So, they would have more than enough sheriff units to respond out to an accident. That and, um... Not so much as FHP, but I mean... I know FHP would still definitely get in on a, a, an accident on this road, so, so I don't know. Who the fuck is... I don't know who the hell that was, but that's a nice explorer. So yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, I just got a text message. There goes another sheriff, but he's got his lights off. I don't know, man. There's no way in hell that this, this, yeah, this is, this is not an accident. Definitely not an accident. And, um, another thing I want to touch on, I, I, I was debating on whether I should even upload this video or just send it to a buddy or something, but I guess I'll just upload this because I don't have literally anything else to fucking upload onto YouTube, and I know it's been like three weeks or so since I've done a video, and see, look at these cars are driving so slow, like, they shouldn't be driving that, so that's a nice fucking Avenger. There's no reason why they should be driving that slow. That's weird. But, um, yeah, I've, I was debating. That's a nice fucking Ram. Damn. But, uh, yeah, I was debating on whether or not I should upload this video or not. Pro I was thinking, like, most likely not going to, but, I don't know. I don't have anything else to upload. It's been I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. I don't know. I don't know. I actually like fusions. I don't know why I like fusions, but I do. They're not that bad of a car. Now, would I own one? Or would I go out and buy one? No. Maybe if it was, like, on a, like, hella cheap, I probably would, but... Mopar or no car. I like that saying. I love Dodge. Always have been. Always will be. Well... Oh, I don't know about now, about will be, because, um, as you guys know, 
fucking Mustang. As you guys know, the SRT brand was just disbanded, so... Yeah, the future isn't looking so clear for Dodge and Fiat and Chrysler and Jeeps. Fucking Tesla going by. Now, that is actually my favorite model, the Tesla that just went by. I like those. The yes, S model is nice. Now, I'm a car guy. I, I like cars, especially my Dodge. Anybody that knows me, you know I love my Dodge. But, I don't know, 2022, it's not looking like a good year for them. If they'll even be around next year because of uh, the stuff that I've seen come out from Stellantis and stuff, which is the group that owns them, basically, or man that mainly manufactures the cars and stuff like that. So, I don't know. So, hopefully... If those vehicles, like the Chargers, Challengers, Scat Packs, like whatever, um, Chrysler 300s, if stuff, if cars like that aren't discontinued by the end of this year, early next year, it's still not looking good because the people that own them are like, or the people, the CEO of the groups are, of that company are French and they're all about fucking electric cars. So they'll probably make those, like, chargers and challenges and stuff, like, electric. And if that's the case, fucking goodbye American Muscle, because that is not what an American Muscle car is, is electric. They're, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like electric cars, but... The fuck is that? The shit you see go by here sometimes, but but anyways, I like electric cars to a certain extent. Like the the Tesla Model S looks nice and stuff like that, but that's not the only fucking car I want. If I'm going out to look for cars to buy and shit, I don't want to sit there and just buy a fucking electric car. I like to hear my car because that's a real fucking car. Oh, here comes another one. Damn. Okay, well now he's going that way. Dude, I, I have no idea what the hell is going on. And see, I can actually sit here and record for a long-ass time. Now, because... I got a lot of storage on my phone. It's not a bad, uh... What is that? White pickup truck just went by. F-150. That was nice. Already been recording for 13 minutes, though, so... Oh, another thing I want to go over is this morning, which is February 16th. Look at this truck. That's not bad. I don't like how the front part of it's lifted up more than the back because that, that, like, that just looks like shit. But the lifted, I, like, I do like lifted trucks. Like, they're not bad. Some of them, anyways. Um, no, if you put, if you, if you do that to like a 90s looking truck, get the fuck out of here. Cause that just does not look good. But the, the newer trucks, that looks good. But well, uh, something I wanted to talk about real quick is, uh, early this morning at midnight in North Carolina. Um, as you guys know, there's a mass, those of you guys that live in the United States or just anywhere in general and actually pay attention to weather and like weather. Like I do, I love I love weather. I'm always looking at the weather, not necessarily for my area, but just around the country, uh, here in the United States. Um, that's an interesting truck, but uh, as you guys know, there is a ma a historic winter storm happening, and this dude went off the road. Here comes another emergency vehicle. Try not to take out our mailboxes again because they're already fucked up because of some stupid shit before. But anyways, um, with these severe storm winter st oh that's an unmarked yep that black truck you guys just saw go by that was a police op uh unit and that, it wasn't unmarked that was like looked like a like a ghosted unit or something it had the liveries on the side but not until you get right up on it is when you can see it. So I don't know what the fuck is going on over there, but 
anyways, with these win winter storms hitting uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Alabama, and stuff like that, it's it's causing you know showers and stuff like that to pop up here uh, in Florida and and in North Carolina. You know that are ahead of this winter storm because it's warm here and it's cold where those winter storms are, obviously. So you got that cold front coming through where it's warm here and it's firing up these severe storms. And all week I've had severe weather where I'm at, like tornadoes and, and stuff. We've, ha we've had here a bunch of tornadoes this week here in uh, Florida, St. Peter uh, St. Petersburg. I think Fort Myers had like some rotation. I don't know if one actually touched down. Uh, I know Panama had a, a tornado and stuff like that. But... That is a nice Subi, but they're not actually that fast. Not unless you obviously modify the fuck out of them, but. Last night in part, in, technically this morning, because it was midnight, uh, but 11.53, so close enough. There was a, uh, a storm in North Carolina, Brunswick. And it was showing, you know, it had rotation with that, that storm. And there was, uh, there was some tornado warnings put out, but I'd say closer to midnight, there was a radar-indicated tornado on the ground. And it never once did, was a, a warning or anything put out that there was a tornado on the ground. I don't think it was until 13 minutes after the town was hit. I think it was Ocean Ridge or something, um, North Carolina, like in, Brun in Brunswick, um... I, I can't I honestly can't remember the town, but I think it was Ocean Ridge or something like that. It wasn't until thirteen minutes after they gotten hit by a tornado that they fucking the weather service came out and said that there was a tornado on the ground, which at that point I it dissipated, went back up, and then probably almost a half hour, if not a half hour later, another tornado touched down, but that was more in a rural area, and it never said anything about that either. And then, but it, it the second time it touched down, it wasn't bad. It was just like probably like a minute, not even. So, yeah, three people was killed last night and ten or more injured. Now, at twelve one o'clock, I'm sure there's already a lot of people sleeping or laying down, not paying attention to the weather. But either way, that's still uncalled for. Not. I mean, cause they knew it was on the ground. So why the hell it wasn't brought out to anybody's attention to fucking let the public know that there's a tornado on the ground. And this wasn't no weak ass F0 or F1 like we've been having here in fucking Florida for the past week. This was a fucking high end EF3 tornado with a hundred, almost 160 mile an hour fucking winds. And um, there's only one fucking person last night on YouTube that I seen that was actually even covering this, uh, cause I don't give a shit about the news and TV and what the fuck they have to say, cause 90 fucking 5% of the time, the people on the news are wrong anyways, especially here in Florida, cause let's say it's gonna be fucking 80 degrees with some, some rain, and then fucking here comes the day they've, they've been talking about it for so long, and then it's fucking like 60, and there's not even a goddamn bit of rain in sight. So that's why I, I don't pay attention to the news. I don't give a fuck what they say. Excuse my language. It's just I think last night, this morning, technically, whatever, was bullshit. Um, and, it, and, I, and I get the National Weather Service has recent. Why has he got his fucking hazards on? I get because they took a severe hit with, with um, in just the last couple of months in funding and stuff. So, I, yeah, I, I kind of get that. But, I mean, it's still not that hard to say, hey, there's a tornado on the ground. Just take shelter. There's another sheriff. Now, personally, if I was the sheriff that got put in that vehicle, I'd fucking... I'd hate... I'd just hate my job because you got all these other nice-ass cars and then you got that trash uh, expedition. I hate expeditions. I fucking hate those those cars. I've always hated them. I hate the early 2000s uh, Explorers as well. My aunt had one and it was like a big piece of shit and she doesn't abuse her car. Um, 
the new the new explorers like the 2013 and up are fucking nice explorers but the old ones are just ass but anyways back to the that weather story it's another fire truck there is a fire department probably like three minutes down the road to the, to the left that way so but there's no police department around here for a good 20 minutes maybe and it's all to the right. But back to the weather. I mean, it's been back to back to back. Just severe storms firing up here in the south. Like uh, Florida and not necessarily south. Like when it comes to Carolinas. But and here comes a here comes that car again. Truck. But um, North Carolina. And I called it last night. I said, basic, off, off of the... Um, off of the information that I was hearing, uh, like perfectly strong built houses like brick and stuff like that being destroyed, like leveled. And the only thing that's left is their foundations. And holy shit, that's an 80s like FBI car if I've ever fucking seen one. But um, basically all the off of the information I'd gathered, because I, I was on top of that storm. I was paying attention to it. Because, again, I love weather. I love following weather. I remember last hurricane season, I dedicated fucking, like, months of just all day, every day tracking the hurricanes that were coming, like Laura and Delta and stuff like that. I find shit like that super fascinating, super fun to do, and um, just stuff like that. But and I, I nailed last night on that storm when I said off the information that I got was you know based off the information that I'm hearing and stuff that I'm seeing on Twitter you know like people posting pictures of the damage and stuff I'd say that's a high end EF3 to low end EF4 everyone was else was like well no that's an EF5 that's gotta be the first EF5 since Al Reno in 2013 I was like mm, I don't really think that was an EF5 so let's not push it that far, or let's not, you know, over-exaggerate too much here. Um, now, for a minute, I was like, yeah, I mean, EF5, that'd be insane. But I still, I, I didn't really believe it 100% for, like, a minute or two there. I was most mostly into, like, high-end EF3 and, and thinking it was a low-end EF4. And uh, I just got a notification that they, the National Weather Service deemed it as a high-end EF3. So I basically fucking nailed that. So I'm pretty proud of myself there. Um, and Facebook fucking banned me for a goddamn 30, mu uh, 30 days. So I couldn't go on Facebook and talk about it and keep people updated like I normally like to do. So fuck you, Facebook. You can go suck yourself. Um... God damn, we've already been almost, uh, this video is almost 30 fucking minutes long. That's a nice truck, too. It's like a 2010 Silverado or a 2011, somewhere around there. But, um, I, I nailed last night. Pretty proud of that. Now, the storm is here. We've had, some, we've had a lot of tornadoes here in Florida in the last just three days alone. I think we, we've had, like, f six, maybe. Um... Maybe five. Now, they're nothing compared to that storm that hit in uh, North Carolina this morning. Now, personally, I hate North Carolina. I lived there. There's an expedition. Now, see, that, that exped expedition doesn't look bad, but that's the 2021. Like, the anything before that looks absolutely ugly and is just shit compared to that newer one. But still, I'm, I mean, I'm not too big of a fan of the exposition. But, um, expedition? I think I said exposition. But anyways... Just, uh, I hope that those people there in North Carolina can recover pretty quick because, I mean, it's looking like maybe tomorrow afternoon into Thursday there's going to be even more severe weather coming through. There goes the sheriff again. But, yeah, it's looking like we've got some more severe weather coming through here, even here in Florida. I think it was Friday or Saturday where I had a tornado warning all day and all night for like a, a full 12 hours maybe even longer and i was like damn 
I've not been under a warning for a tornado this long in years. And it's kind of funny now that I think about it. There was that EF5 in, in El Reno in 2013, and I also got hit by a tornado in 2013, which was nothing compared to that fucking storm. It was like a little piece of shit ass, like rope tornado, but it still did damage. Especially because of where I was living at the time. Is that a... No, that's a truck that went by earlier, but... Fucking, here comes the 80s FBI agent coming through. The fuck was that? My phone just made a weird noise. I think I was getting a call. Uh, but, uh, yeah, guys. There... It, fucking 40 minutes of, or 30 minutes of just police and fire just going back and forth. I don't know. Maybe that was from the, uh... That that accident, but I just how many how many how many like fire units was that that went by like five or six like there's a truck there was those two engine uh, bigger engines that went by and then there was another one I can't remember so I was like what three or four mm, there's somebody here I might have to go see who this is so I'll be right back all right guys well, I'm gonna end this video here with my doggos hunger hunger let your life. That's why I like the car. She likes it. She likes being called that. But I'm gonna go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go see who that is. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.